to another video today. I'm in Trains in World War and I'm doing our first look at the new overground suffragette line and my controller batteries decided to begin to run out, which is annoying. But yeah, it's going to be great to take a look at this. I haven't seen it before. I've obviously, I've never done it before, but I've chosen to Anyway, what we need to do is go to the training centre. I'm going to do the training module first. So, training. I'm going to go inside and do this. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do that. I just take an introduction to the train because I've, I've never done this before, you see. So, it's going to be, this is going to be a longer video. As you know, I'm not only going to be doing the introduction, I'm also going to be doing the route. So we're going to have a bit of everything here, which is nice. In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive the BR Class 710-2 Aventra electric multiple unit. Okay. During this brief introduction, you'll be taken through the critical driving controls and performing passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard. And for some reason, I've got audio in like one ear it's really weird anyway, so the, you know it's looking nice so, take a seat in the driver's position so that you can prepare the train for service yeah, I've only got audio for this introduction ear. you'll be completing a full loop of the circuit and performing passenger operations when you reach the next stop why have I only got prepare audio out of my left ear it's so weird to unlock the control desk, you'll need to insert and set the master key. Right, well, I'm guessing I'll have to deal with it anyway. The, mask. the reverser is used to determine the direction of travel. Okay, so, um, yeah, my audio just decided to stop. For whatever reason. Anyway, let's do that and then we're gonna do pentagraph up to begin so loading yeah, passengers you will need to open thing. the passenger doors okay finally i've got it to work <laughs> um anyways so let's set the lights on to day Okay. This train features a combined power and brake handle, so to get the train moving, okay. move the handle into the power range. I'm definitely going to do some sort of reset. But, but, yeah. Oh. I realise that it's not so clear. My bad, guys. Going a bit crazy. Let's see. So, obviously, we've got the um, USB sockets and whatnot. So, that's good. about 30 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. For what it is. Very nice. these buttons are you know yeah never whistle I 
I'll tell you what, what is the Posting max speed a method used? Keeping to speed limits is it important. Easy. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force by moving the power handle into the braking range. Right, thanks. Thanks. First entering service in May 2019, the BR Class 710-2s were built by Bombardier Transportation for ah, use on the London Overground Network. 75 miles an hour, that's pretty fast. In 2012, okay. Transport for London announced its plans to produce a new fleet of diesel multiple units, as the Class 172s in service at the time were unable to handle the passenger demand, resulting in overcrowding throughout the day. This plan was shelved in June 2013, when the government announced that the Gospel Oak to Barking line would be electrified, and Transport for London refocused its efforts on buying a fleet of new electric multiple units. Now, destination In July 2015, Transport for London announced that it had placed a £260 million order for 45 four-car Bombardier Aventra EMUs with an option for 24 more. These units came in two variants, a dual-voltage version designed for the Watford DC and Gospel Oak to Barking services, and an AC-only version with longitudinal and transverse seating. The Class 710-2 has a top speed of 75 miles per hour, or 121 kilometers per hour, and a maximum carrying capacity of 678 passengers. All right, so you get the gist of it, right? So, I'm waiting for this, I think I might. Right, so yeah, that's the training module basically done. Is it worth going the next kilometer or so? Probably not. Am I gonna do it anyway? Of course I am. Of course I am. I'll tell you what, this livery is very nice. Um, I'm sure someone's gonna make a livery for it using. You're now approaching the station, so prepare to slow down the train. Use the power handle to apply some braking force to bring the train to a gentle stop in the indicated position. I. Very nice. And I've said that a lot, but I've been waiting for something like this to come for ages. Because we haven't had a sort of London that route for a while. That's good. I guess not. Now that the train has stopped, you can open the passenger doors. It shows you like all the services. Good work. That concludes all the basics and of operating fun. this train. Yes. Well, How many maps in it, which is bad. All right, let's go to the main menu. I feel like it's good. Now, let's take a look at this. <laughs> this, is, this is one of the liveries I downloaded. I didn't know it would actually be in it, but oh, that's so Ah! And it shows the destination boards and trains going to chat as well. Because if you look at that, is it both? Look. Okay. Enough. 
looking around and stuff. Let's actually do the thing. Right. Alright, is, is everything all... AWS and AWS operational. Let us. And I want to turn this down. This is a bit loud. I turn it to a vendor. Before we go, let's take a quick look at the truck. Very nice. It automatically locks as well. But yeah, this is wow. Okay, there's a lot of people. Wait, actually, I want to. Okay, hold on. I know this is weird, but you know how when you hold the button down and the door open? I want to see if it does that. Oh, that would be a cool little easter. No? Oh, okay. Anyways. Let's shut the door. Let's shut that door. And let us be off. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. So, next stop, Upper Holloway. Who wants me to go that fast now? Um, anyway, so yeah, let me know what do you think of the new maybe last video yet? I don't like it that much. What do you think? Thank you to that guy who just followed me. And stop, 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 please. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. Um, so that's what I get for looking at my phone. Got me sweating. Okay, let's reverse that. We're going to reverse. TPWS and AWS operational. 
go back a little bit. Okay, so ignore that. So, right. Oh. Um, I know I'm saying that, but like, genuinely, like, it's it's been a while. Unless uh, I didn't do something yesterday, but yeah, I need to. Oh my, come back. Exactly. <sighs> sort of can't exactly upload it. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. The way this route is set out, like all of the shrubbery and stuff, pretty much exactly like the real thing. I mean, I was on this, except for the busyness. Oh, pretty much every seat is completely filled. It's not exactly like that. It's not that busy during peak times. I would know. Oh, that speed limit sign was tilted. Didn't that? I didn't see that. Oh, gas was speed. I'll tell you what, though. Despite this being a short little route, it's it's a nice route because you're you know going at a slow, well not slow but a nice calm pace. It doesn't feel like it's over so quickly. So. Alright, next stop, Crouch Hill. Don't know why it says Haringey Green Lanes. I'm gonna overrun that again. Please stop. Stop doing this to me. I mean, it updated before I even left. Means the barking riverside. It says it as well. Cool. Oh, and these change. That is that is real nice. Let's just take a little look on the inside. You know, we've got these flip-up seats. And you've got the regular. Seat. Service or not. And it tells you the time. And it's got these big open thingies, whatever they're called. Alright, I guess we're taking the phone on the inside at the moment. Hold on, I just need to figure out where I am. I genuinely have no idea where I am. I think we should go back here. Maybe not. Only carriage that doesn't display. This is just all gone blank. But yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be all green and pixelated like that. Um, I'm sure that'll fix that. Oh. Alright. Anyway, I just realised I was speeding. I 
tell you what though. I'm glad they added the dual voltage one instead of the because there there's I think there's two variants of the and it's the I think it's the slash two and the slash zero or the slash one or something like that. I might be completely wrong. You you're gonna have to double check on that. But well, there's three variants. Like one is dual voltage and two of them. I'm probably totally wrong. Oh, there's a 710 in a Southwestern Railway. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing this on Xbox, so I was. Tell you what, despite me judging my braking terribly, the braking on this train is not bad. Oh gosh. I'm allergic. Hey what, they really went all in. They also added elevators. So on a station that has elevators this I'm gonna show you guys the work. I got distracted again, my bad, my bad you Why did I say you I don't know. Also, I'm not sure if like in the creator scenario you can put spawn in a car. But I know that on something like the Bakerloo line, for example, if you spawn in a train at Kenton and spawn in another train at South Carolina, which is an example, you can couple two trains together, like you can couple two of these to make a forecast set because the signals on that section of it is only one way. If you're the first line, but you have to be heading away from heading to Elephant. I'll show that in another video. But... Some of the displays look very similar to in the class 700, which is the one which I like because it's so it's all familiar to me. Sorry if I sound a bit sick, I kind of have a block going right now. I think it's either allergies or I'm actually sick. Can't tell which one it is, but I sound a bit stuffy. So. Oh, I'm supposed to get you going to me here. Alright, South Tottenham. I think the furthest I've been on the overground is Walthamstow Queen's Road. Yeah, I haven't travelled that far on the overground. On the Goggle Heights, for some reason. Yeah, I might be cool it. But, yeah, I've only really travelled. Oh. I do like the stickers that they've included for now. They're all very, very jolly and good. Charging point. That checks out. USB sockets are a bit buggy, but... Hey ho. Okay. 
second shot. He did. Right, the acceleration on this train, immaculate. Well, not immaculate, but you know, it's good. Braking, the greatest thing ever. But it just varies depending on train to train. My preferred braking is like, still good braking. This one is still quite good. Right, next stop, Black Horse Road. It's very calm. We've gone through almost half the stops. When we are already, and we're only 30 minutes in, including doing the training module. Nice and calm. I just realised I've been speeding, way over the speed limit. And Black Horse Road. Nice lovely road here. Nice lovely busy road. We're approaching the water so in here. Okay. Ah, this station has lift or elevators, if you want to call them. So this is one where I can showcase the working lift. Oh, did I just place a route map by accident? Okay, so to get to the elevators, you have to at least, I only see an elevator over there, I don't see one on this side. Basically, this is how it works. Good left. Doors open. Left going down. Right Doors closing. Platform. Doors open. Left going up. Oh, that way. Yeah, very nice. Alright, now let's go back across. Ah, move. Oh, it's in C2C livery. Yummy. Don't know why I said yummy. That's weird. This is a safety announcement. It is not permitted to cycle the skateboard or the station building. Okay. The C2C livery is actually. Alright, next stop, Walthamstow Queen's Road. <laughs> so, while we head over, I why headphoning? Never mind, they're working now. So the working lifts are quite a nice feature. <laughs> now will they be used? Probably if people are doing like a that's 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 but if you're driving really. 
so I don't, <laughs> don't know if I'm going to use too much. But Barber's Barbershop. Right, we're approaching Walthamstow Queens Road. it was like this sort of temperature that it is in game currently outside because in game is currently about like 10 degrees or so it said when it was loading in but oh, perfect stuff as well but outside right now is something like 16 and degrees it feels warm for March oh gosh the compressor on this sounds like a car it's like a like, oh, anyway. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next stop, Leighton Midland Road. So, how are you lot doing? You, despite me dip, dis, disappearing for goodness knows how long, I did upload a video a couple of days ago or today. But despite me disappearing, not many of you probably saw that. More people will probably see this video because you know it's the first look at a brand new thing. Um. Yeah. Anyways, how you lot doing? Ever? goodbye to so say hello to later I think that's um what's it called Lama no not Lama uh, that one school what's it called Norlington or something I think that's what that was I know this area like the back of Oh wait, now I know this place. I know what road that is. Why is it speaking? I'm trying to figure out where is where. Okay, that's Midland Road right there. That's Midland Road. And I think over here is Leighton High Road. Yeah, that's Leighton High Road there. So yeah, this is Leighton High Road. Now, on that corner right there where that building is, that looks like a garage. It's actually a gas station. But there's, Mid there's Midland Road and... Anyway, let's go. And really, and between this section, that we should be passing over what is the central line between going to the next. We'll pass over it at some point. Somewhere here, though. Like. 
It's either between this bit or between Leighton Midland Road, no Leighton Stone High Road, Park. somewhere along the line. Ah, uh, yeah, it's here. Yeah, there's the central line. Here's Nathan Stone High Road. They should. There's Lane Stone High Road up here. It's somewhere along here where it might be done. Screenshot. No, just this. And there's one stood flats right there. I just realised it started raining. Typical UK the weather. It'll be nice and sunny and then it'll just start raining. <sighs> anyway. Oh yeah, it's man. Yeah. I've just had a long day. Stop. I know it's stop then. It's like raining, but it doesn't feel rainy. Next stop, Windrange Park. And after that, we've got Barcoo for the bus. And, and there is so much wheel spin, it is unbelievable.
Kan saya sangat mencintai Hai Gosh. Even more, it was nice to know. I'm sorry, I can't say. Oh, what happened there? Texture is too great. That guy's arm was inside of the thing. Anyway, you've seen the lift in the new train. It all makes that bubble. I haven't seen marking. I Marking. <laughs> but you know. There we go. Alright. So. I think that this is going to be a solid video. I think it's going to. moment we're looking at 45 minutes of word now oh my god that's making my game like a bit my game doesn't like motion blur you need an xbox oh my gosh my xbox is boiling Okay, that's scary. Okay. This time in Greater Anglia livery. Greater Anglia, not Greater Anglia. Where am I? You know what I meant. There's... Where the... Metropolis. No, not the Metropolis. I'm sorry, that's stupid. Um... The oh my gosh, I forgot the name. The district line in the Hamsmith Sea. There you go. I had to think about it for a while. I forgot. My Xbox is so Um. Alright. Alright, let's 
that's very nice of stuff. So, oh my, the glitch. But yeah, originally, that I can't go over there. But that was the original. Look at it. Oh gosh. Alright, these people won't move. They're all huddling around them. Oh, yeah, see, we can go over here. But this is where the district might usually be. Over here. Used to be over. I don't think This used to be the original overground. Why is that the only door that's open? Side. Why is Barking and Barking Riverside so far apart? Because it, it just is. Barking is a big place. <laughs> so, you know, the next two miles we are, you know, freezing. in a bit, but it's okay. I'll be fine. <laughs> no, probably not. It's just around the corner. We are approaching Buck. Right. 
think that was one there. But that was. That sign was so unbelievably small, I'm not sure that anyone could see that. Okay, so hope you like enjoy this video. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Like